Hello everyone, here is a quick video on how to factory reset this BT Business Hub 5 Type A. Um, in this example, if I can move the mouse and get rid of the warning over here, uh, we've got somebody who's reconfigured this uh, hub and um, if I focus over there, um, you can see you've got it on the non-standard or non-default IP address of 74.74.1 uh, and over here I'm pinging what would normally be the default IP address of the, um, the business hub and it isn't responding. Somebody's also set a password on this and we've forgotten the password and you literally want to blat all of the settings and go back to absolutely nothing. Here is how you do it. So on the back of the router, above the power socket, is a reset hole there. You'll need to use a very thin ballpoint pen or more sensibly probably an unbent paper clip and you need to hold it down for just over 20 seconds so probably 21 seconds is uh, good to do so. While I do it I'll also try and show you the front so you can see what the lights do at the front. So uh, let's see if I can do that in shot of the camera. It might also be a bit out of focus but uh, We'll see what we can do. So I'm going to press it now. That's 10 seconds. And that should be 21 seconds and let go. Uh, just after 21 seconds, this light on the front went green, um, and quite a bit before that, we lost ping or connection to the uh, the wireless. So I'll leave that there to reboot, which does take quite some time. So what I'm looking for is probably the broadband light to come on down here. Then I'll make sure that the laptop is connected back up to the Wi-Fi network. And we should see on the right hand side screen that it responds to pings. And on the left hand side, the non-standard IP address, it will no longer respond to pings. Uh, up here, it's fallen back to my uh, office network. OK, so about now, I think I should be able to see the BT Hub's wireless network. And I do. Let's tell the laptop to connect to it. And I'm going to move the hub uh, probably up so you can then see the two ping boxes all the way. It's taking a while, it's now connected and it's given me the warning that it's not plugged into the phone line which is fine and over here on the right hand side we can see it's now responding on the default IP address of 192.168.1.254 and on the left side it's not responding to the custom IP address so there you go that is how you factory reset this BT Business Hub 5 Type A hopefully this video has been helpful to you if it has it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel you don't need to have the video notification switched on but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.